he did and, and the times in which he lived. So I think it's a great thing. There may be a war. I grant you that. Nevertheless, we shall win. If you'd like more information about tonight's film, please log on to www.hbo.com. And now, HBO Films proudly presents Albert Finney and Vanessa Redgrave in The Gathering Storm. Daring. Different. Definitely HBO. And now, the HBO original movie, The Gathering Storm. One thing I can say about the Great Society, it sure is crowded. A president with a historic opportunity. The great Society is my beautiful woman, Ev, and I'm taking her by the arm. An ambitious dream. FDR passed a handful of bills these first hundred days. I'm gonna pass a bucketful. And an unprecedented challenge. You need a magician, someone who can make a small corner of Southeast Asia disappear. Kennedy did not lose South Vietnam, and I'm not going to lose South Vietnam. In the corridors of power. We have been going to war by inches. What's it going to take to get Ho Chi Minh to quit? Sustained military action. We ought to up the ante. Boom. Behind closed doors. Put the men in. Get out of Vietnam. Every quantitative measurement shows we can win. It will be a huge catastrophe. A dream is destroyed. Vietnam. That's what I remember me for. Hey, hey, no, Not for health care or civil rights. No, you the Kennedys will shout from the mountaintops, but now I've missed my chance for peace. I feel like I'm going down the plane. I can crash with it and burn up or jump and die. And the fate of a nation hangs in the balance. Damn it! Let's get it over with. There is no victory to be had. Nothing I say, no matter how I say it, I never bring this country together again. We're all behind you, sir. Perhaps eloquence of speech is no longer the answer, but eloquence of action. Michael Gambon. This war has got to end. Donald Sutherland. My counsel has not deviated one whit. And Alec Baldwin. They're going to drive this thing straight to hell. Path to War, a new film from John Frankenheimer. You decided against all your natural instincts against the whole of your life experience. You decide it. Saturday, May 18th on HBO. Next on HBO, live from the theater at Madison Square Garden in New York, a heavyweight showcase on Boxing After Dark. Jamil McCline fights Shannon Briggs. First, Johnny Tapia versus Manuel Medina, the 126 pounds. Then McCline against Briggs, 260 plus heavyweights coming up. TV. It's HBO. 
those who forget the past... Are you in the mafia? There's no mafia. ...are doomed to repeat it. Every Sunday night. Try to do the right thing by you, you gotta be black! Sundays go back to where it all began. Relive the first three seasons, the Emmy award-winning series, Smart The Sopranos. Every Sunday night at 8 on HBO. I can't keep something like this from her. We're getting married. Not if you tell her you're not. On the next episode of Six Feet Under. I guess this is the beginning of some serious mental illness. Chances are I'm genetically pretty close. You need help. I can get you help. You need to take care of yourself right now. That's what you're for. What happened to you? That's not your business, pal. There are naked pictures of you on the internet. My son, shut, shut up! up. I would never have given me a second chance. Emails were like the only thing that kept me going. What are you doing tomorrow? I need some help with this project. Winner of two Golden Globes. An all-new episode of Six Feet Under, Sunday night at 9 on HBO, with encores every Monday night at 10 on HBO 2. On the next America Undercover Sundays... I turned 40, I just went off the hook. He craved the high. I like how ecstasy makes me feel. We had a lot of dreams. He chased the life. Got me six for a hundred. My family thinks my dad's going down the wrong path. He loved the thrill. I gave Sammy 20 bucks for ecstasy. And sometimes he shared it with his kids. You don't ever get a manual when you're a parent. <laughs> Everybody used to think we had this perfect family. America Undercover Sundays presents Small Town Ecstasy. Premieres Sunday at 10 on HBO. I'm not going to get in trouble for this, am I? I can't. It'll blow your mind. Next on HBO, there's a different breed of warrior that stalks the night. Now see what happens when they enter the ring and stand toe-to-toe. -to -toe. HBO Boxing After Dark. Next on HBO. I think that people will be amazed to see how personal this story is. This movie is about the way America goes to war. I think you need a magician. Magician. Someone who can make a small corner of Southeast Asia disappear. I had a lot of conceptions about Lyndon Johnson that he'd recklessly put us into Vietnam. Hey, hey, how many how many you kill but I think this film can help change LBJ's legacy. This war has got to end. It's about Lyndon Johnson. It's about Robert McNamara. It's about Clark Clifford. And the tremendous decisions these men have to make. All I want to know is this. What's it going to take to get Ho Chi Minh to quit? Sustained military action. LBJ was caught in the middle. Put the men in. Expand the bombing. It will be a huge catastrophe. He could have not listened to his advisors, but he did. Time to get out there and kill Viet Cong. Then damn it! Let's get it over with! The cast is extraordinary. If you do a film based on Lyndon Johnson in Vietnam, you have a tremendous responsibility to get it right. I think that this film will show that LBJ was really a great man brought down by this tragic event. This is the way it happened. Listen carefully. I know the rule. Say it. Don't talk in the car. It was him or me. How'd you get this on tape? It's not tape. That's live, brother. HBO presents a new dramatic series. The Wire, coming in June. Shh. Tap in. Boxing evolved from what people do for survival. It's not just about power, it's about finesse, it's about technique, it's everything mixed up. is rated PG-13.
next on HBO. A behind-the-scenes look at a new spoof on buddy movies with Robert De Niro and Eddie Murphy. HBO First Look, Showtime. Next on HBO. Heavenly Father, we come here today. A man has gone to a better place. It's a shame it takes something this sad to bring us all together again. And his family is dying of happiness. Uh, take me now! My daddy's out here wearing ballet <laughs> shoes. I hope y'all can use this. <coughs> I don't like funerals. People always coming up to you wanting to know what you feel. <laughs> he looked dead, man. He, he does. What you need is a drink. They got you painted up like a two dollar hole. Y'all don't mind just excusing me. LL Cool J, Jada Pinkett Smith, Vivica A. Fox. When I die, don't tell nobody. Just bury me out in the backyard and tell everybody I left you. Kingdom Come premieres Saturday night at 8 on HBO. How would you like to meet the man of your dreams? I'm already involved with someone. He's teaching bears. Yeah, you have to go to her. Where? In the forest. About the birds and the bees. I have had so many girlfriends. Wow. Eddie Murphy, wow. Dr. Doolittle 2. Coming in May. Hasta la vista, baby. In the War of Paws. We've got a serious problem. Versus Claws. Hello, my puny-minded dog-faced opponent. The fur <laughs> is really gonna fly. Dogs have always been man's best friend. Cats. <laughs> They're another story. <laughs> On to you, kitty, and you're in big trouble. I think not, baby puppy. It is you who is in trouble. Cats and Dogs premieres Saturday, April 20th on HBO. You're watching HBO. What's everyone buzzing about? In Aspen, Colorado, there's comedy in the air as the world's funniest folks gather to honor their own. I'm very antisocial. And some comedy kings exercise their right to free speech. Religion is bad and pot is good. But first, some Hollywood heavies fess up about their latest project. It is kind of nasty. Let the buzzing begin. Oh, shout out to the buzz. Some of the biggest names in comedy descended upon Aspen, Colorado for HBO's 8th Annual U.S. Comedy Arts Festival. I'm here for the hose. It was a chance to celebrate the people who work to make us laugh ooh, ooh. Ah. and to catch a sneak peek at their latest endeavors. <laughs> Robin Williams, Edward Norton, Catherine Keener, and Danny DeVito were on hand to unveil their latest film, Death to Smoochie, making its world premiere at the festival. It's dark and uh, twisted and fun. <laughs> DeVito didn't just star in the film. Think of it as a tool of the trade. He also directed it. He's got nasty funny written all over him. He's a fantastic director. He's a troll without a bridge. Ed Norton's Smoochie is the purple rhino on a TV kid show, loved by everyone. Smoochie is the face of evil. Except this guy who wants Smoochie dead. This is a straight downhill slide past Betty Ford and beyond. It's about an idealist who, um, you know, tries to hang on to his values against the machine. We need to focus on putting together the best show possible. Despite its kiddie show setting, the cast makes it clear this comedy isn't a family flick. We're always looking for a movie to take our kids to. This ain't it. Oh. Definitely don't bring the children. It's fun making movies, period, but this was, Death to Smoochie was like a blast. Death to Smoochie hits theaters March 29th. Clinton deserved to get laid. Belief in God is perhaps a foolish enterprise and maybe a sign of mental illness. For never being afraid to tell it like it is, the Freedom of Speech Award was bestowed upon Bill Maher, Dick Gregory, George Carlin, and the Smothers Brothers. Damn, all of those people. I, I, oh, that's Good company to be in, I'll tell you. The award commended these artists for embracing the First Amendment and the right to tell jokes even when some people don't think they're funny. Free speech, religious tolerance, Political democracy, though they have their problems, but they are our sacred traditions. <laughs> really mean something when your peers honor you. You can trick just ordinary people. <laughs> My own dog turns around and gives me a dirty look. Lily Tomlin might get dissed at home, but she and Whoopi Goldberg both received special awards. Is Whoopi being honored? Yay. I think I have a gigantic ego. Lily was honored for her outstanding comedic achievements. Lucy. Don't you think you've had enough? And Whoopi received the American Film Institute Award for her versatility as a performer. It was also a chance to look back on the early days of their careers. So my agent called me, he says, can you really do this barefoot tap dance? And I said, oh, sure. 
Whoopi even gave some pointers to a lucky Buzz crew member. What are we watching? HBO Buzz. That's right. What do we want to tell them? Buzz off. Buzz off. You've just been buzzed. Next on HBO. A behind-the-scenes look at a new spoof on buddy movies with Robert De Niro and Eddie Murphy. HBO First Look. Showtime. Next on HBO. On the record with Bob Costas. The type of intelligent and creative program that Costas was born to do. Why, thank you. Big names. The best roster on television. Bold questions. Do you think wrestling contributes? <laughs> you don't even know what I'm going to ask you. Oh, yeah, I do. To the incivility and coarseness out there in the culture now. Maybe so. Straight answers. I'm Matilda the Hunt because I tell someone to piss off on the tennis court. Why didn't someone go out there and toss me? I don't care what people say about me. I want to win. Straight from the source's mouth. Don't miss this week's special guests. On the record with Bob Costas. Thursday night at 1030 on HBO. Come on now, what's up in your world? Nate and I are getting married. <laughs> on the next episode of Six Feet Under. David. You're all wet. I love you. I love you. Oh, I don't even know if I believe in God. Maybe it's time to find him. Maybe God's a woman. Maybe. I'm going to make some breakfast. Are you hungry? The answer is no. I'm sorry. It's not like it's some stranger. It's your sister. I have to believe the universe sent you. You're here and you're mine. Winner of two Golden Globes. An all new episode of Six Feet Under, Sunday night at 9 on HBO, with encores every Monday night at 10 on HBO2. My daughter just learned how to talk, man. Now we don't know how to teach her how to shut up. This morning, yo, yo, check it. I told the teacher, my dad.